another one. Confounded thing. You have an intelligent look about you. A moment of your time? What is up, is Ender? Greetings! You have a sharp look to you, traveler. My name is Azander. I'm an arcanist, and I'm hoping we can help each other out. Well, you are an arcanist, too. decades of esoteric knowledge, a bit of coin, and a convivial attitude. What do you say? What does a convivial attitude mean? I'd like your help tracking down a former associate of mine. I was attempting to create a relic of great power, and now find my fate frayed, for lack of a better term. I call this relic the Fate Weaver Key. How can your former associate help? Martina was a brilliant collaborator, and may be able to identify where I went wrong. To find her, we'll need to find a tome, mm -hmm. summon a Daedra, and brave the terrors of Apocrypha. What do you say? This Join one? me in an exploration into the unknown? Yeah, all right, Xander. This one will help you find your associate and fix your key, but the reward better be good. I'm looking forward to our collaboration. As I said, we'll need a book on Daedra Summoning to get us on the right track. Let's convene in the center of Cypher's Midden. Is there anything I can clarify for you before we begin? Yes, you can tell Andra more about what you were trying to do, hmm? That mystic phenomenon I was struggling with? I'm calling them frayed fates. They're echoes from a choice I once made. My work to create the Fate Weaver Key has snarled them up. So untidy. If I'm ever to perfect the key, I'll need to unfray my fate. So we are going to unfray your fate. How are we going to do that exactly? And what does that even mean? A good question. I need to reset. Return to the roots of my research to unravel this issue. That's why I'm hoping to find my old colleague. Their name was Martina Abor. A talented researcher. Though we've since parted ways. You want to find Martina, but where do we start looking? My hope is that a Daedric consultant, a watcher named Tim, will know where they are. The book will lead us to Tim, you see. Thankfully, the ciphers of the Eye have given me access to their stacks. Ha! And what is it do you do, Isandra? You said you are an arcanist? An excellent question. I'm a scholar of esoterica. Eldritch secrets, this one and is things too. mortals were not meant to know. I'm an arcanist of the highest order, proud to say, resting the power of Apocrypha into my quill-gnarled hands, as you do. Khajiit is an arcanist as well. She knows many things, but is going to take to learn many more. Ah, a fellow seeker of knowledge. Do you hold more to the tentacular school of thought, or are you more of a rune carver? You're not one of those tiresome paddlers in the fathomless seas, are you? Apologies. We can compare notes later. Yes, we actually probably maybe should. Tell Khajiit what you are trying to do with this Fate Weaver key, though. It's not my fault. I mean, <clears throat> I was attempting to peer beyond the veil of reality, much as Hermaeus Mora does to gaze upon other fate lines. It would have been brilliant. Should have spent more time developing my infralux notation. What do you hope to learn? Just think. What could you learn by looking beyond your own life? At the paths unwalked? What kernels of truth could you hold with such a tool? I hope to gain knowledge about myself about the universe. Why, about the very nature of mortality. Mm. What does... What do these frayed fates do? Did you make one when you decided what to do with for breakfast? Wait, this one could have read that better. What makes one of these frayed fates? Did you make one when you decided to, you know, have something like breakfast? That is it. That is much better. Yes, we'll go with that one. Hmm. A simplistic example. Not all choices are equal. But 
If the choice to have oatmeal instead of eggs changed the course of your life, think of them like divergence points, and everything you could learn seeing the might have beens play out. This one actually understands. Do not worry, she's actually just a little bit smart. Just a little bit, though. Let us get to it. The stacks aren't far at all. I'll see you there. Okay. Well, they're just going to keep standing here, aren't you? Hmm. Okay, come on. This one supposes she will just walk away slowly and keep an eye on you. And somehow she will expect you are ahead of her. He's a follower. This is a follower, but they have two follower requests and one expansion. That is very cool. This one does Proxy. not think. A word. No, this one has to do something. Fate can wait. Even you are saying Torvasar is not going to do this immediately, so. She has time. How? The search for knowledge begins! What? Ah. Wait. What is happening? What is happening? I have no idea where in Orvis to look for my old colleague Martina, but I know she was working with a Daedric consultant, a creature named Tim. If we can summon Tim, we can find Martina. And we are here to find a book to summon this town. Indubitably, I knew I was right about you. Now, an esteemed elder within the ciphers once summoned forth this Daedra. If we can find the notes from this elder, you and I can summon Tim and in. How do we find one book in this pile of like millions of them? You've never been to the Library of Dusk, I take it, or the forbidden section of Gwillem University. Dedicated scholars must develop their own search magics. I'll begin the incantation. Just be ready for anything. Apocrypha is full of surprises. It's surprisingly so is this one. Incantum eruditum. Abyssal Sea, hear my call. Find the secrets beneath this wall. The rune form is complete. Follow where it leads. Aha! The book we need is in that pile. That was very lucky, you know. There's like a bazillion of them just piled up, and some of them even look like tentacles. So the fact that you put this close is so suspicious. There, a tome show has the text. Get after it. The chase is on. I mean, this one is sort of just calmly. I mean, this one is running fast, so I'm just going to walk after it. This one wants a tome shell so bad as a pet. This one is going to spend lots of money to get one, maybe. This one needs that.
and she is going to name it Fifty Shades of Slay. The lengthy tone details Nekul's viewpoint and the nature of fate, fate lines, and the forces of time and acts on a mortal's life, all written in a high-minded style, it has numerous appendices to her research. Appendix G, Tem, The Woman of Fate. I record here now the details of my encounter with Tem, the omen of fate, who proves invaluable with constellation of nature and fate. The, to, the warp and weft of mortal's life is only visible to one such as he, and so any student of these forces might do well to dress him. That said, take heed. Tem does not look kindly on those who would try to meddle with fate's flow. You have been warned. To find Tem, seek out fate. The fate locust summoning site near Ravenous Morass. While he can be called to any well scribed circle, I found this location made him more amenable to parlay. Tem will offer no information unless asked. To ask requires esoterica ephemera. Though some trial and error, these items proved most efficacious in establishing a dialogue between us. Told us from a scroll of Daedric nature, and the words themselves are unimportant. A talon of a seeker, a light is best, dead works just as well. A vial, a vial of ichor from the pools near the, ravenous, the ravening morass at the circle. Use each of the three fonts in turn. I was able to ask three questions and three questions only. Next, we turn our discussions, my methodology surrounding interviews and specimen catalog. Excellent work. Why are you... Now there's three, four, five? What is happening? Ha! That was bracing. Pity the tome will smell like transliminal parasite now. Let's see what it says. This one already read it. Did you not pay attention? Here's the ritual to summon Tem. Easy enough, just a question of the appropriate summoning materials. We'll need expunged tome dust, the talon of a seeker, and black ichor from the spoomy pools of Apocrypha. Oh, this one just said that. Where can we find the ritual materials? Let me mark your map. Seekers tend the floor of the region. Their talons often break off in the resin. And there should be plenty of tome dust scraped from parchment in the cipher's midden expungitory. Try to get some from a Daedric incantation. Endra must know what about the ichor. I'll procure that, worry not. I don't want you to think I'm taking advantage of your assistance. Once you have the dust and talon, we'll meet back up at the ritual site I've marked on your map. What do you say? Well, this one just... It's her, her eye and forgot she was wearing makeup and now has makeup all over her finger. Oh no, now it's all smeared. Get the talon and tom dust and meet you at the site. Got it. There, you have no idea what I'm talking about, you crazy person. The tome dust should be found in the cipher's midden expungitory, while seekers tend to congregate around those resin plants to the southwest. Easy enough, and soon we'll be talking to Tem. You seem familiar with Apocrypha, you know. <laughs> well, I should hope so. I've been coming here for years. Fascinating place. You can learn the ways of the Arcanist back home, of course. But to truly understand the forces of fate, tides and the abyssal sea, there's nowhere else like it. And where is home? Back on Tamria? Oh, here and there, you know. You've seen one post-feudal city-state, you've seen them all, am I right? No. My family hails from Hammerfell. Born and raised in tall Papa's shadow. You visit them much, yes? I'm no youngster, obviously. My parents now dwell within Aetherius and the rest of the family... Wait, what is that aid? pretends I don't exist. Best for all involved. Now then, we have a Daedra to summon. Knowledge to gain. Oh, hey, cool. This one does not know what raiding means, but thank you for doing that. Let's get to it, though. There are so many of you, and some of them have hoods on, but she thinks you look better without it on. For whatever reason, maybe those versions of you did not shave today. Or they did shave. They look a lot less better. This one is getting better at her Khajiit sounding sound voice. <laughs> the 
Is that the sweet roll? It was a sweet roll. Oh, we are stealing the sweet roll. Give the sweet roll. Sated and ready to take on the world, huh? And this one cannot believe you just got that much friend points for stealing and eating a crusty ass sweet roll from Apocrypha in front of you. You have very low morales. <laughs> All of these books. This one bets like one third of them are all just porn. Any, Do any. be careful. Don't rush about and scatter the dust. This one was just saying, any, meeny, miny, mo. You've messed her up now. She has to start over. Any, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a Kaji by her toe. If she hollers, let her go. Eeny, meeny, miny, this one. This one maybe chose the wrong one. Okay, so that one accidentally released a demon. Oops. That one maybe hit on me. There it is. I hope you're happy. It's going to take hours to clean this up. Indra actually just read your book on fate. She is going to summon Tam to ask it a few questions. Wait, what? Ugh, such drivel in some of these old spells. This one was talking with you. What are you? My book on. Ugh. Oh no. I'm guilty of authoring that nonsense, yes. A journeyman effort from several centuries ago. If you have it, please take it with you. It is trash. Okay, but can I just comment? Your hair looks amazing for being in such a place. It, it, like, very good job on the upkeep. What is this place? This is the Expungitory, an important hub in our settlement. Here, palimpsests are recycled for reuse. Scrolls are scraped clean of old sigils, ready to be used again in a new and potent arcane working. Khajiit is curious what happens to the old sigils. The expunged spells are still quite potent, so we hold them for a time to allow their energies to dissipate naturally. If you must, feel free to search the rune piles for your summoning ritual. And let me return to my work. Okay, Entro will. She thanks you. Why can't I turn? Oh, no. This one needed to turn. I cheat a ball. This one's fingers forget how to do things sometimes. Anything to steal. I mean, to repossess and reacquire. Maybe not. What is an arcanist? Part 1. Oh, this one did an endeavor. What? In all the realms of oblivion is an arcanist. I've been asked this question by no fewer than a dozen students and half as many professors, and I desperately wish I could give you an answer that wouldn't make you think I was pulling your leg. So let's start with the basics and work our way out from there. Nice and easy, a little lecture like frosting on the crusty ass sweet roll this one just ate. Systemized thaumaturgy. Let us start with a brief aside on Organizational Arcanum. If, like me, you've had the chance to talk to a number of adventurers in the last several years, no doubt you have... No doubt you have heard the terms thrown around that have made you wonder if you missed a university flight or two. 
Templar Woven Warden might play the fancy titles that end in, that end mean precious little to the e educator on the ground. In an era when any kind of agreement with magic is, is seems de seems damned near impossible, why are these terms relevant at all? But it is the point, isn't it? You need only to look at the freeform nature of arcane and thought, and that rules the day and see how tempting this one really sucks at reading how seductive any kind of com compartmentalization can be you need only to look to a recent interview with fellow guild mages guild member to, whatever that name is this one is not going to do that when trying to talk about the warden is to see how rife with potential these titles can be for a learned citizen of the world as an aside I would invite readers to revisit my Schools of Magic proposal to be based on my time at the Shad Estula Academy. While well, this is ever-growing stack of rejection letters from Venice Galerian like myself, means he sees no interest in the subject. Perhaps one of you will. Tom's of it. How long? You oh, this is kind of long. Now that you have touched my answer sufficiently, I've attempted to address the question. As best as I can tell, an arcanist is a spellcaster who makes use of arcane. This one will tell you what an arcanist is without having to read all of this. An arcanist has an obsession with tentacles and likes to say big words very quickly and wiggle their fingers and spell ink everywhere. And then also maybe do things with, with the tentacle monster and Hermaeus Mora. That is what arcanist is. This one just saved you lots of time. You're welcome. Say thank you. Now to get the seeker down. Goodness. Oh, wow. That is what that spell does, eh? Okay. This one did not get to use the spell before she had to go. Um, this one was doing the spells in the fights before. Trying to kill Verminia and none of her spells were actually working. It was kind of bad. Should have been more prepared. This one was always prepared. That one, though. Absolutely ravaged, Daedra. Oh, this one is so going to use this weapon all the fucking time. It is so cool. Uh -uh. Yeah, right? Isn't it cool? It is this one right here. Look at you can get it right here. It is the Celine Arms pack. This one found it, and, and she had the crown, so she got it right. That's actually a spell from being an Arcanist. This one is cool. Look at the freaking spider head on it. She can use the staff. It has spider arms that go down, and then a great sword, and then it has a ball. The bow is pretty sweet too, and it also has the one-handed axe, so it fits all of her. It is just sad she is arachnophobic. But yeah, so the spell is this, you just go... Oh, wrong one, you go... And now it has cool effect on the... Oh wow, that is cool. That is this spell right here, that is... Home better's inspiration. Each 
Etch a series of runes onto your weapon that pulse with power once every 5 seconds. Each pulse enhances your class's abilities and striking an enemy with one deals an additional 2864 freaking damage. It also generates a flux if you have none. When slotted on an either ability bar, gain major brutality and major sorcery, increasing both by 20%. Yeah. It looks very freaking cool. It's pretty much an always on box, so whenever it comes off, she needs to put it back on. It is very cool, it's also very different sadly, so like, people will either very much like it or very very hate it. This one likes being an Arcanist so much she is never going to be anything else. Even when they probably make a new clash, she's just not going to care. This is what she is forever. Where are we going? Okay, we go this way. Into this place. Also, look at the tentacles. It seems like... The tentacles are made of books and they just kind of climb everywhere. And this one cannot get sidetracked right now. Good to get stocked up. Also, she was exploring Necron, and she found out that if you go look around the city, there is an achievement vendor. So if you go to the achievement vendor, you can get some rather pretty cool things. Like, it, uh, this one supposes every single expansion has an achievement vendor, and with the achievement Be gone. vendor... My fake line is my own. Your life is mine. This one is worried about that Z Xander. Never mind. Welcome. This should be most illuminating. This one thinks you are fucked, Xander. But yeah, so you go around and you look and you get that person has drip that is almost exactly like this one. But in a, every expansion you get, and as you unlock things from the expansion, it gives you more and more and more items you can buy for your house. Ah, my new collaborator. Good to see you again. By Mora's eyes, these frayed fates are becoming increasingly annoying. I look forward to putting them to bed, as it were. Do you have the items we need to summon our Daedric consultant? Of course, Endra got them. That was nothing. You made her go from just a few things. Endra has got the Tom Dust and Talon right here. Hearless work. Let's see. Here's the i -Core. Unpleasant to gather, but I've done worse in my day. Now then. I'll light the fonts and begin the incantation. As we go, I'll need you to offer up the Tome Dust, Talon, and Icor. In that order. Talon, Tome Dust, Icor. Okay. Then you will ask the data about your partner? Just so. With any luck, this Tem can tell us where the whims of fate have led Martina. If this doesn't work, well, I'm sure I'll think of something. But let's hope it works, eh? Onward! This one is ready when you are. Talon told us Icor. Talon told us Icor. We light the flame to summon Tem, the omen of destiny. Come before us! There is something. Ask your questions, make your offerings. We offer the dust of an ancient spell. I seek the location of my former colleague. Martina Abor. Wait, how do we, we're supposed to do Tom Dust? Where do we present? Okay, it already does it for us. That is good at least. Tom, yeah. Tem's eyes have seen you, Asander Alcibiades. You search for one who does not wish to be found. Recalcitrant, are we? We offer the talon of a seeker. I need Martina to correct an error. Where are they? 
this is actually way cooler than I thought it would be. They are like doing a full on Daedric summoning, not even Final Fantasy XIV does it's like voids and summoning. This is freaking badass. You tamper with fate, mortal. Tempest is a darkness approaching, one you have unmoored. Daedra, I have called, and you must answer. With Icor as payment, I command you. Where can I find Martina Abor? I shall answer, but not to you, Arcanist. Ten will speak with the one who made the offerings. Hello. The audacity of that creature. This one thinks maybe you should stop talking and let this one talk now. Hello. Ten sees you mortal. Adventures, triumphs that have happened, or may happen, or may never happen. Speak, and Ten will tell you what you wish to know. Okay, this one has a problem because Xander already said the two questions, right? And the thing said Tim will only answer three. And this one cannot ask the question they need to ask. And now they are talking and asking the questions about things that are not per like relevant. So this one is catching on that she knows where this is going before. The choices of Xander Alcibiades hang heavy about him. Reeking from stains on his hands and his soul. Also... He speaks with a distinct lack of respect for Tem, the omen of destiny. Should this one be speaking a little bit more like this to make you more happier, huh? So where can we find Martina Abor? Martina Abor, Arcanist of the Abyssal Sea and Illuminatus of the Threads of Fate, retreated to their sanctum 920 days ago. Seek them within the sub-realm known as the Underweave, at a place called the Heart. But beware, mortal. Beware of what? The Arcanist you travel with sought to view the paths unwalked, but failed to see where those paths led. In his hubris, he has allowed a thing that should not be to be. Tem has spoken. This one thanks you, Tam. Questions asked and answered. Farewell, mortals. All things being equal, that went rather well. It seems we're off to the Underweave. Oh, exciting! That was like the coolest fucking thing in this entire expansion. Almost. Almost. The thing with Sharp as Night was a little bit nicer, but the fact you summoned the Daedra is like actually pretty badass. I'm not going to The lie. Underweave is a powerful nexus of faded potential in Chroma Incognito. Terribly powerful and terribly dangerous. Sounds just like Martina to set up a lab there. Onward and upward! Uh, you must tell Khajiit. Hold on, hold on. You must tell Khajiit. You are not worried about Tem's warning. Hmm. Am I? No, not particularly. Daedra are strange beasts, you know. Their concept of mortality, time, and danger are very different from our own. Clearly, there have been some unintended consequences, but nothing the two of us can't handle. Mm-hmm. Why didn't Martina study the Underweave and not you? You must understand, I have been studying arcane ephemera for decades now. The Underweave is just so... Obvious, and I try very hard not to be boring. Plus, it's extremely dangerous in there. Fate shifts like the tides of the abyssal sea. Answer the Andredaro, though. You did not want to study it because it is dangerous? That seems kind of like bitch material if this one is being honest. A thing can be both dangerous and boring. The universe contains multitudes. I truly believed I would be able to master fate itself without entering its walls. Vexing to have been proven wrong. And why aren't you and Martina still working together then? We were excellent collaborators. Together we gathered power from across the Daedric realms. But in the end, she had very different goals than I do. If nothing else, damn it. I want to have some fun. Oh. Ah! 
And you and Martino will be, you think, you think this woman, Martino, will be willing to help you all of a sudden? Yes, of that I have no doubt. Martina is a consummate professional. Just don't get her started on the transliminal properties of exogenic materials or the writings of Denil Gorath, the dread archivist. We'll be there all day. Is, is that one... Is that one related to Shale Gorath? Because maybe that could be fun. But... Why did Martina set their sanctum up in the underworld? Well, you no, must understand. No. A thing can be both. There. Given the focus of our research, it makes perfect sense. Fade itself pulsed us through the corridors of the Underweave, and its tradition for powerful arcanists to establish a sanctum. I have one myself, you know. <laughs> Quite proud of it. Okay, well, this one does not very much care. Let's go to the Underweave. How far away? Oh, we are going to be traveling for a while. Come on, Sharp, let us go. This place is like really freaking cool though. Oh hey, it is another public dungeon. This one is only going to do what she needs to do and then head back out. And then do the explorings later. Yeah. This one has not been here before though. Time to show off what the public dungeon looks like because they are actually very, very cool. Though last time she was in one, she got her butt kicked no, pretty no, bad. No, no, The master of secrets will certainly flay me for this. Okay, well, you're going to get flayed for a little bit. She will be back eventually. Goodbye. Okay, so... You know how in Final Fantasy XIV they kind of have like dungeons and you go in with a group of four and it's kind of like, oh, this is small and there's just a corridor. This is pretty much just an entire subzone that is massive, like actually massive. All of these places you are probably going to be able to go to in some capacity and you kind of just get to explore them with other people popping in and out as they adventure through. Not to belabor the obvious, but we'll need to be careful here. We should make haste to the heart of the Underweave and find Martina's Sanctum. Onward and upward! Okay, and how do we find Martina's Sanctum? The Fate Weaver key is palpitating, pulling me off to the east. Fascinating. Something in Martina's Sanctum must be synergizing with the relic. Let's find that laboratory. Okay, let us go to the heart of the Underweave in the east. To the heart of the Underweave! My green lasers. Heck yeah.
this one learned a very cool thing about the greatsword stuff though is that if you are swinging it and using two-handed weaponry it actually does damage in an AoE so it hits multiple things at all the time so ooh, this one hit level 22 so yes whenever you are like doing swings every single one of them hits another thing Anything over here to look at? No? Okay, this one supposes she is going to go this way and then get the level 22 star, the quick rank up, and do the claim, and then do the bloop. Okay, Crux Weave on. What is this? Oh, this one needs to get... Okay, this one needs to get Fate Woven on. Oh, that is all the way down there, though. Hmm. This one supposes it would be good to get a bit extra stuff in the defenses. So she would do this thing. Poor hand it has a reverse slash almost all the way up, but she can get that out. Okay, put put that here. This one does not know what this looks like, so she is about to find out. Uh, no. Can you not? Wait, what? Hold on. This one, did someone, did she read this wrong? Crash a defensive drone of Apocrypha. Okay, so you need to do it to other people. Okay, that one misread what that was. So this does damage to enemies. Get absolutely messed up. to go this way she has to go back out but this is a pretty cool room she will do the exploring later these are the kind of things this isn't even like just for this one this is just how it is in general this is the whole game if for nine years it is being out now it is all these all the time forever and ever This is just what Elder Scrolls Online is. Where are we going? The downside of having no map because she turned it off is that it is a little confusing to sometimes find your way in big sprawling zones. The fact you can get lost is actually pretty fucking cool to be honest, like, you know, this one misses, what the heck? This one misses, like, just a boring. Final Fantasy was just very... Anticlimactic with the exploration.
Oh yes, there is also an aversion. So this one is the one that kills people, right? And it's like, oh, not in. But then they did this really, really, really cool thing. But I can be like, heal the aversion, and it heals people instead. So it, it is like very much like wild star so it is actually the type of healing that i like where you have to be in range and you actually have to be pretty good at it this one is back at the beginning this one this one is discombobulated who are you Double green bean gets done. Easy. Already we won. Oh wow. Okay, so she cannot go this way, so that means that the place where we have to go to wait, what? Yes, they are on mine. Okay, I guess we have to go this way then, so that was the right way. We're going this way, I'm just going to go sneak around and see what it is. Hold on, this one needs to apply to somebody already. Uh, okay, this one still has the one viewer. Is her head even being tracked? This one hopes so. This one cannot tell. Uh, The Twitch clutch out. This one is so very confused. What is what? Okay, this one is going this way, and she is just going to keep going. It does not help that the thing is coming to go the other way. Got to be better than that to stop us. Heck yeah, that is right, Garrus Vicarian. <laughs> another person going this way so she will follow that one. Oh, at least there is a boss here oh whoa 
intimidating like this one uh, eat looking stronger already yes this one is fine she has been working on you know let us uh wait not let us fuck ourselves up a little bit This one knew what she was doing. Haha, <laughs> this one just pretended she was bad. These places, you know. That one was pretty good. This one is not going to lie. That one was just like absolute ravaging. We are freaking kicking butt right now. Oh my goodness. You are the boss. Oh, you bought right up to you, didn't you? This one has delivery of pentacles. This must be it. Knock, knock, Martina. Who's there? All right. Let's get my face unfreed. This one thinks you are about to see something you are not supposed to.
this one definitely has Damn a bad feeling. Damn it, Martina. Dead. I had hoped. Oh. Why must the most brilliant among us fall to Curiosity's blade? Take a look around, if you don't mind. Yes, this I one is. Moment. This one is not doing as bad as she thought she was. Uh, this one is not a very good knight blade. She does not do the damage you would think she's supposed to be doing. But this one, this one definitely feels like she is doing a lot better than what she usually does. The Neverwoman. And three one. It is worth my eroding sanity, knowledge, endless knowledge. As long as I'm willing to seek them out, every fate teeters on precipice, a threshold where this might be made or not. We Risking up choice. before I'm ready to fall over. That's new. Nani? Anyway, we make our choices, and then the in the strands of what we choose to do, the way we choose to follow, fate itself weaves its strands in and through and around the tapestry of our fate line. It is strong and unbreakable. In three, four. I have been able to identify the threshold, the never woven, the unwoven, the moment it is starting to form and hangs in the ambience, waiting, anticipation, as a zender used to bark at me, and then sometimes a choice is made and nothing, but it is not nothing, a power in the unwoven fate to reach her maes mora, it stretches past the boundaries of what it might be, perhaps, well perhaps one day it may reach, it may reach, will meet his. Wait, one day my reach will reach his. Oh, that is a very good sentence. If a Xander were here, he would laugh at me, and I at him. He was also right and so wrong. At the same time, his ideas do not compass what I have seen. I see them everywhere now. My forlorn, unmade choices, I have found a way to scry them out. One drop of my blood connects me to these unrealized potentialities. The frayed and unwoven fates that lay scattered behind me like so much debris. We have them behind us, the unending chain that links us back to our first breath of life. So many lives unlived, and all have, and all mine have to learn from, just as Xander and I have always hoped. And 312. They say that fates are blood-bound to an individual, or so they say that. Perhaps I just said that. It is so hard to tell now. Where I end and they begin the power and potential. I sought out to merely learn, but there is so much more to be gained. I can weave my tattered, untaken fates into power. They are nothing, just shadows on a cave wall. So why shouldn't I? Am I not the flame, the light, the one that casts those shadows? And 314. Worth it. The knowledge is mine. I know it. I can, it is me. I can smell the drift now. I can wander the drifting tides of fate. Never to worry. Never again. I have done it, Xander. I have acknowledged all of it. Except you don't because you are dead. Martina was a zealous note-taker. That may be helpful to our interest. You are not going to read the same thing she just read. Hopefully it was loud enough for you to hear. Or maybe you were preoccupied. It would be understandable considering. No idea what that concoction is. Curious. That her little baby. Perhaps Pedro? you uh might find something on her remains. Brains, eyeballs, stocks. This is a little fucked up, you know. You want me to search her remains though. Sorry, Martina. I wish I could say this was the first time I found an old friend dead, but I cannot. From the spell lattice surrounding them, I believe Martina's research may have followed a similar path to my own. Let's take a look at that journal. Andre, sorry, Xander. And you were right. The journal talks about Martina's fate, fate fraying like yours. Hmm. Martina says here she could somehow scry for the fates frayed from her timeline. Fascinating. She experimented with several different methods, uh, including using her own blood. It's messy, dangerous, but perhaps effective. Forgive this one, but is there any way we could do that? Yes, yes, I believe so. 
I have some thoughts that need to germinate. And I'd like to dispel this ward. Take care of Martina. <clears throat> Let's retire to my rooms at Cypher's Midden, near the Way Shrine. I'll see you there, my canny colleague. All right, Xander. This one will see you at Cypher's Midden. I'll see you back at Cypher's Midden, my perspicacious collaborator. Just need to see to Martina, here. What was Martina doing here, do you think? Research, of course. Always research. Just like in the old days. Martina and I were excellent collaborators. I was the gab, the talker, the traitor. But Martina was the silent strength. Astute observations after lengthy contemplation. And what do you think got Martina killed? I'm not quite sure. I think perhaps she was trying to manipulate fate itself. But I'd have to examine Martina's notes to fully understand what happened here. Why were they trying to manipulate the fate, though? Martina was as nimble-witted as anyone I've ever met. And stubborn as the Abyssal Sea. Now, if she thought they could twist fate itself, nothing would slow them down. Changing the fate lines is something not even Hermaeus Mora himself can do. Is that why you two stopped working together? I'm an arse. It seems wrong to coat the truth in moon sugar standing over Martina's final work. I can be challenging to know, and worse to work with. Okay. Martina put up with me for the better part of five years. Longer than anyone else. D this one needs to interrupt you there. You said the moon sugar, right? Can this one have some of that, please? No. Is that just a saying? I kind of zoned out there. Well, anyways, thank you, thank you, Azanda. I hope I can honor Martina's memory somehow. I'll see you back at Cypher's Midden. So one of the cool things about this is that there's actually like entire quests that you have to do for your followers and they have their own stories and whatnot. So this isn't just like a one-off quest and then you get them. You travel with them, they become your friends, you do things together and quests start opening up and then you do those quests and you actually get like an entire story with them. So it isn't just like a single thing. But Time to go back to Cypher's Minute. I'll explore this place when we're doing exploration stuff. Welcome. I've just been preparing. Pardon the simplicity of my setup here. Martina's research lives on. I believe with further development I can adapt her methods and modify the Fate Weaver key itself. But let's crawl before we walk. First, we confirm if scrying for frayed fates is even possible. You will indulge Khajiit. What are we scrying for your frayed fates? It's time to put my failure behind me. So far, the fates have come to me. With Martina's research, we can scry for one, find it, and shut it down. What do you think of that? It sounds good, Xander, but what is our first step? This is why you make a good collaborator. Your focus. I place in your hands the Fate Weaver Key. Still flawed, unfortunately, but newly modified thanks to Martina's notes. Follow along with me and will seek out a frayed fate. There is just one issue about that. You said that I have a good collaborator because of my focus. You are very wrong. This one has a tendency to just like go fucking everywhere and do everything else before she's supposed to do stuff. So before we do questing, you need to be very aware and it is going to take some time. Observe this bomb for the water. Gripping the key, activate each of the beacons.
this if this one has to do anything in order with all of these people here, she is fucked. you there okay so we are going right back out <clears throat> that was rough unrefined I can do better but we've got our first success and the location fathoms drift what are we going to do there we shall stitch together the unraveled threads of my fate. Mistakes made in forging the Fate Weaver key will recede into the past. Together we will reap the rewards of knowledge, insight, and scholarship. Just as Martina would have wanted. But what is Fathom's Drift? It's a sinkhole in reality. A graveyard for ships from across the realms. Hermaeus Mora is the Tide King after all. In his role as master of the seas and one whose tentacles rise from the deep, he claims sunken vessels to add to his trove. So he's like... This one is not going to make the obvious reference here. The Andradaro, why is your fate, Veta? Truly? I have no orbiso idea why a path unwalked would lead me there. But Martina was shrewd, clever, and other complimentary words. We can trust their work. All right, let us see this one. How far away is this? Oh, that is quite far. She has been there before, but this one is not like fully explored. Oh, she needs to go to the teleport thing because she is not going to go. But running all the way there would take a lot of time. She is getting better at small talk, but she is not that good at small talk, if you know what she means. This one hates those so much. Also, this one is running past the other quests because she thinks it is kind of not into the RP. I live. It is my will. Away, you pestering phantom. That's You're here. It's so pleasant to work with someone so prompt and cunning. Xander, this one noticed that that sounded like a little Blast these frayed fates. Let's get in there and turn theory into practice, eh? Smooth these things back into the universe. Okay, that sounded like it was a little bit past her brain, but how do we smooth your fates back into the universe? First, we enter the drift and find the darn thing. The Fate Weaver key in your able hands will lead us where we need to go. 
Now, properly attuned, it should allow you to tug on the threads that bind my fate to me. So we follow the threads, and what then? We use the Fate Weaver key itself to bind this frayed fate back into the fabric of the universe. Now, I'm not... Well, to be totally honest, I'm not exactly sure what that will look like. But we're armed with the dead friend's knowledge. We'll see it done. Yeah, this one supposes she will see it done, but this one maybe thinks you're talking a little bit too callously about the friend you just found out who is dead. Like, it is maybe a little rude. Into the drift! Huzzah! You are way too callous about this. Anyways, yes, so this one does not pick up the side quest because it seems a little bit out of character to just pick up a new one and then not finish the one you are already on. Is there any better feeling than finding free stuff? No, there's not actually. It's like the best thing. This one needs to figure out how to post these to YouTube as well because she has the YouTubes and maybe they will post them but she does not know how to make them convert to it. The Fate Weaver key will be our guide. It should make visible the threads that bind me to the nearby frayed fate. I could swear it, this one saw a setting there but... Give me your parts. This one does not like the water. There, a thread. Untie it, and we'll follow the thread to the next. And the next. <laughs> You're a very good person, Xander. This one just realized how uncomfortable she is. This is not a place Marching she likes working. Working. My research! It's working! Smashing! It is good Martina is not letting you down at least. Onward and upward! As always! See something. The Cthulhu references Look are there. actually very cool. This distortion is afraid fate. Let's pull this situation into focus. Well, the deck is at. Stop lollygagging, Azander. I'm tired of all this. What? A sailor? How odd. I haven't wanted to be a sailor since I was a child. Builds rats and stale bread. I'll never make it to first mate. Ah, such potential. Stronger now. Twitching tentacles, what is that? That is you. This is definitely I you. Grow stronger. Use the key. These room forms should banish that thing. Holy we shit! This one knows what this. Will is. not be undone. His own fate is going to try to murder him. That is like the fucking jet leap thing from back when it was uh the one. That was the movie. The one. Oh, I wasn't sure it would. 
Yo, your own fate is trying to murder you, you know. What we just witnessed. Hmm, distressing, horrid, disconcerting. Apologies, cohort. I'm free associating to deal with my emotions. No, no that you, you're right to do that. You just tried to kill yourself, and it wasn't like a... That it wasn't in that way, but you are all right, yes? Of course. Yeah, just processing. Tem, it seems, was telling the truth. Afraid fate has grown in strength somehow. Become adversarial. And so what do we do now? Allow me to take back the Fate Weaver key. Hmm. I'll need to consider this new information. The introduction of this adversary into the experiment was unforeseen. Let's reconvene in my room at Cypher's Midden. The Swan thinks you're taking this in pretty good stride, all things considered. It sounds good, this one will see you there, though. Goodbye. You do the rest. You need some. A lot. And you maybe also need to talk to a therapist. <laughs> you probably need one of those a little bit more, to be honest. Okie dokie, let us just do the teleport things because once again that would be a very long walk and there are a lot of big cliffs. <laughs> It's 9 o'clock, where is the letter? This one just wants to hang out. Ah, there you are! Come, let's talk! I'm ecstatic! <laughs> Ebullient, even! And you are a very strange person. Incredible. Somehow, my experiment seems to have created a new, previously unseen mystic phenomenon. One frayed fate consumed the other by means and for reasons unknown. I'd be even happier if it didn't want me dead. Ha! You will tell this one you're excited for having to create a thing that wants you dead and it is also yourself? Yes! I mean, would I prefer this adversary enjoy a strenuous argument over a pot of tea? Without a doubt. But you have to understand, I believe the Fate Weaver experiment was an abject failure. So the fact the experiment created anything is exciting to you? Indubitably. And mark me well, this discovery would not have been possible without your insights and abettance. We make a superlative research duo, you and I. But I haven't had a competent cohort in some time. You are bafflingly just... Okay, this one thinks you, Xander. You're giving it your best. This one will pat you on your head. You do the little pat, pat, pat. So you are going to continue to look into this adversary? I must. My fate is still frayed, after all. It must be restored and this dark being dealt with. But now, a question for you. Would you be willing, if you have the time and inclination, to continue our collaboration? This one supposes. I mean, this one is like seeing something she's not seeing for a long time. And it is pretty cool concept. It's just kind of like, let us make sure that if you do die, it is not also me dying. You just, you do the hit first. And this one will just watch on the sideline. Together, my new cohort, we began the work of understanding the nature of fate. We put an old friend to rest. And someday soon, we'll repair the key. But for now, accept my promised coin with enthusiastic thanks. Onward and upward! Okay, this one just needs to let you know before she does completing this and any contracting she's going to keep traveling with the cool person that is standing behind me for now you just keep doing research you can stay at my place it has a lighthouse and she is decorating the undercroft with a bunch of spooky shit you can stay there together cohort we will accomplish stupendous things remarkable things for research huh <sighs> Nice. 
point, if he tries to kill you, stab him. And don't stop stabbing him until, you know, he dies. Let's see what this is about. Outstanding application. Oh, this one already sent her message trying to clarify to make sure. She wanted to know what kind of monsters we RP as and she sent a message. Oh, she cannot read sent messages. She had to let her know that it wasn't us RPing as the monsters, just people who like monsters a whole lot. What is an Arcanist part 2? What do Arcanists do? It's, it's already known. When Arcanists want to level up, they make deals with Hermaeus Mora. And when they want to get better, they summon tentacles. And when those tentacles do things, well, this is an order for Bad Dragon to take care of. In this one. Let me soon we'll leave that there for somebody else. Wait, did that say glow stick? And give me the glow stick. You cannot go wrong with this sticking in the box. Does this do? Consume 25 Valen Wood seedlings to unlock the Great Oaks from Little Acorn as she went on the grad school. Wait, doesn't she have other one that is like this? It's last card. Oh, consume. Anyways, okay, so. What are we? We are going to go. Oh, Yen was on. Okay, we are going to teleport to the house so she can put up and decorate just a little bit. It is not going to take long. She only has two things, but she wants to put them down. And maybe show off because this one does not think you have seen it. This one got fancy house. It is a whole lighthouse. It is like it's super pretty actually. It is for RP and we can all do it as a whole free company. We can, it is all of these. There is whole beach. We can have seances on. That is undercroft though. That feels like it would be good to have a lot of Hermes Morris stuff in. This one promises she will not take long. She just wants to put down thing. Uh, where was the alcove? Maybe this was the. No, it was not here. Um, sorry. Which way to go? Is it back here? No, this one is up, isn't it? Yeah, this is back into the island. This one thinks it was here. Yes. Okay. This one is going to put a picture here. Or rather a card. Furniture capacity in your house has been doubled. Enjoy this benefit of ESO for as long as you are an ESO Plus member. Um, browse. Where is it? Come on, let us find it. Shelves, gallery. Wait, how big is that? Oh, this is like huge. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, that is a little bit bigger than she thought. Oh gosh. Okay, how about the painting? Replace this one. Okay, this one is much better. Yes, this is perfect. This, this is where it should be. 
Oh, yes. Oh, that is so cool. Yes, that belongs there. That is where that exactly should be. Um, okay, and the crazy spooky thing. Then maybe that goes down here. No. That can be... That is pretty. That can go here. It will be nice right here. She will put it in the wall just a little bit to make it look like it is growing from it. It was in the gallery, was it? No, it was, no, no. This one does not know what is happening. She does, she is stupid. Display. Okay. Go into the wall. Turn off the surface drag. There we go, okay. No, put it on the ground. Half bury this in the wall because it looks cool. Like it is growing in part of it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's sweet. Yes. It's like it belongs there now. Perfect. Oh, you can turn it off and on too. Look at that. It's like a flicking lamp. And way is more. But you're just here and it is like spooky undercraft meant for the dangerous cult stuff. Okay, there is a training dummy there for in case you need to practice your fights. And this one is going to show off the inside of her lighthouse because she actually did like a little bit of work and she's kind of proud. It has, it has a whole nice place to just kick back and relax on the fire. And this one wishes it was a little bit brighter though, but it will do. But this is the first floor, and then we go up the stairs. This one wonders where my egg is. There is my egg. There is the tentacle cake. Where we'll find a bit of a library to study. Hello. This one does not have it in character just yet, but when she does, this is what it will look like. It is a nice place for the cozy relaxings and many people to hide in. Okay, now we travel and go back. Supposedly you can have people live in the place too, so like my eek is there, but as you get the companions they can live there when they become your friends and you can invite them to stay. But yes, we have whole island to party on if we ever do get to RP that would be fun. This one is going to put bonfire up here. Anyways, this one is all the way out in high aisle. She also has this. Three people on including me. Oh, that is cool. This one did a lot of work 
on everything. Oh, hey, that does not look bad, actually. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, she did the kick-ass job on accident. Oh. Actually, she is going to rock that. She is going to rock the shit out of that. Oh, she looks like she belongs to her main smarter for sure. Time to teleport back into Mecca. This one does not know if you're still around, Ro, but if you are, Yen just said hi. Anything else? Oh, there's something over here. City must be rich. Technically, you can already buy a house here. You can get it for uh, like 1.3 million gold, so it's pretty cool. You can actually live in Nelkham. Um, it is a nice place, it is very big. It is not too expensive and it does not take crowns, so it is actually pretty sweet. So. Good on them for allowing that and making that instead of charging that is a very tall Khajiit is that the player wait what wait, wait is this an NPC that is a cool looking NPC if it is oh no okay that is an, a, a player I was looking at this person okay and Deandra gets confused on this. That way to the bookstore. And this one is going to... What can she do? What is her skill? Is it a soldier of Apocrypha? She can do one job. Converts to stamina, to stamina ability and deals physical damage. Reduce your target's armor and gain armor instead. Heal yourself and apply minor lifesteal. The rule taunts are 15 seconds. This one wish it would not taunt though. You apply minor lame and minor lifesteal for 15 seconds. Reducing enemy damage done by 5% and healing you for your allies for 600 every 1 second when damaging them. I suppose it's not too bad. Wait, no, she only has one thing. She cannot get that. What is Rune Spite War? Like the Rune Knights of Old, summon a shield that absorbs 8,261 damage for 6 seconds, scaling off your max health. For the first time you take damage, 
The shield retaliates and deals 1,422 magic damage to the attacker, scaling off your armor. Consume Crux to heal yourself for 2,753 scaling. This one is going to get that and use that one instead because it sounds fucking badass. What was the Crux do? Fate Woven Armor is the one that I need next though. Funny how At level 20, forms the defiant runic armor around you, granting major resolve for 17 seconds and increasing your armor for 5948. While, while the armor persists, taking damage applies minor breach, reducing the armor of your attacker by 2000. Eh. And what does the X thing do? When the armor persists, taking damage of his minor blade blows against you, armor also generate crux up to once every five seconds. Okay, that seems kind of good, but she's not a tank, so. And this one is maybe not seeing anything, but the rune sprite works pretty good. Yes, this one thinks she is just going to keep using that one and just ignore it or get it at a different time. But this one is like pretty freaking cool to be honest. Okay, she is definitely going to keep that one because that one seems like it is the good go-to. What is new quest? This one thinks she missed a few quests in the actual overworld too, so. And she will go do a zip around the map and maybe find some. This map was full of a lot of pretty cool things though. Lots of cool side quests. And sadly she thinks maybe it is getting close to the end. And tomorrow she is going to definitely beat the game. And finish. So if you are around, you should probably maybe check it out. is no match for mine. You think I'm afraid of your pitiful spells? Ah, I've seen more threatening netches.
he thinks that will impress the council? Well, wait till he sees the spell I created. Once the Magisters see this, they'll beg me to join their ranks. And what exactly are you doing? An exam. We're going to cast our best spells and see which one of us is fit to join House Telvani. I'll win, of course, but I just have to figure out the best way. Stopping my opponent from casting anything would be ideal, of course. Not cast this spell if he is asleep. What, you can blind him? Yes. Wait, what? That actually. Wait, hold on. Pause. Wait. That's fucked up. Oh, I thought it said blind. Okay, it's just blind. Okay. No, you put them to sleep. Oh, that's an excellent idea. And the best thing about it is that my opponent will never suspect something so simple as a sleeping spell. You are literally He won't have items. any guards up. It's bound to work. We'll see what you can do when you can't even open your eyes. This one hopes you do not, like, catch fire to the grass. Be careful. So, like, one of the bonuses that they're also here is you can get a lot of stuff Better overstocked than under. that lets you decorate your place like make your your home look like the zone because you can get a lot of like natural things and just put them around your house which is very cool good eye what are the endeavors i do most of them okay i need to do one more but this one does not think she is going to do any of them she has not been in Cyrodiil, nor has she had any plans of going into Cyrodiil. She does not even conceive of Cyrodiil at the moment. You ever just forget something? Like you had a rollicking good story to tell around the campfire, but suddenly it's just not there. Uh, never mind. Need any repairs? A very interesting person. What are you up to? Repair all my stuff, though. My son. Yes. Mm. This one is not going to be able to do anything with them. She needs to use these. Okay, she's just checking through. Let's see if there's anything to sell. No. Okay, now that is everything. Goodbye. It is now 9 o'clock and my brother is still not here. This one thought she would be hanging out with him all night. When he was supposed to be here hours ago. But 
does not seem that she is going to be hanging out with him tonight. Income is actually kind of disappointing. She will hang out with people on Twitch or whoever watches after the fact. You could craft something nice with that. This is my great-grandmother's favorite scent. See, I actually pay attention to my ancestors oh, and don't buy whatever about. is popular. This one just useful. This one Hold is on very that. excited about having a bit of things. It is so cool. Oh, get absolutely ravished. <laughs> can I do? Building up a staff. Good thinking.
magic is their match for mine. They just came back again. They literally just were arguing in the other place. Come on. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, no. This is the bridge place to get to the other place. And this one will explore it just to get it. But she is not going away. Down for the passage. It's open. Is there anything though? There's no more side quests? Did she do all the side quests? Useful. Hold on to that. Close is she to leveling up uh, the runic slash? Oh, it's so close.
this one get it leveled up. This one wants to morph it and make it look all badass with whatever it is. Um, but it also does not look like... Oh, wait, maybe this is a thing. This looks like it is important. What is over here? This one g is guessing how gamer senses are doing the tingles. It is saying that there is something most definitely over here. We are going to have another quest, but it is also late and nobody is really communicating on Twitch right now, so maybe she will do- maybe there it is, there's the quest. If she will do this quest in the morning, and then- Better overstocked than under. And she is going to log off for now, and just call it tonight and take the loss. Brigands! Scoundrels! Fleshy constructs! <laughs> This one promises she will be back, Mr. Thorin, but for now she is going to log off and maybe level those things up off camera. But it was fun. Thank you for watching. If you are still around. Oh, this one does not know when you sent that. Thank you very much. This one, this one's friend made it for her. And she is going to be using it for a lot, but... She was about to to end the stream. She will be doing more tomorrow. If, if you want to come around, she will be around in the morning and also in the evening and then maybe throughout the day. But yes, she was going for a while. Maybe you can catch the youngest stream.